Uh, hello, this is David here. Uh, in this two minutes video, I'm going to share with you why some of our in KL, they are money making and some they are not. So reason number one is normally these money making KL properties are located at nearby landmark. For example, the place that I'm standing now is a KLCC in front of KLCC. So this is the important landmark that many people will come drop by over here. You can see quite a number of tourists and also locals. Uh, they will visit over here. So uh, other area of important landmark are like in Mon Kiara, you have Pabika and Suarez Mon Kiara, Akoris, and then in uh, Bangsa, you have a Bangsa village. In uh, this Kiara Centre, you have Kiara Central stations. So reason number two why some property making is because they are walkable to hot commercial and also restaurants, cafe, bistros. So behind me are the restaurants that are facing the parks. In this KLCC iconic tower right below there is a KLCC mall also. So to settle your food, uh, to have groceries daily and also some boutiques to uh, be able to shopping at and then it's easily available when you are nearby hot commercials. Reason number three is uh, why money making, why is it money making because they are uh, actually come with uh, KL Tier 1 or Tier 2 address. Tier 1, we are talking about branded area like Monkera, KLCC, Bukit Bintang, KL Central, Bangsa. And Tier 2, we are talking about matured uh, neighborhood. So all these neighborhoods are also nearby uh, corporate office tower, the CBD uh, of uh, KLCC, KL Central and also Bangsa South. For example, surrounding KLCC, there are 162 corporate office towers uh, surrounding these 50 acres of parks. So, and then these are your potential corporate office tenant in the future. So reason number four is uh, it is normally at a density of 200 to 300 units per acre. So this is the range of ideally uh, density, 200 to 300 units per acre, so that you have lesser competition to rent and sell in the future. So then you have higher chance of renting out as soon as possible and also enjoy capital appreciation. So last but not least is walkable to RLT and MRT is a big big bonus because ridership in the KL Kuala Lumpur train lines we are talking about 180,000 to 200,000 per day so these are your potential tenant also definitely if it is a very nice uh, neighborhood for own stay and then it will add on to your chances of renting out and also capital appreciation money making for example behind me is a 50 acres of this uh, KLCC park so if living beside the park also is a big big bonus also. So if you want to know more uh, which other property that potentially make money can PM us.